So now we're going a step further with with another White House reporter here, Stephen, asking a very important question. And mind you, he's the one that asked about the strategy and the communication coming from the White House. And he's slowly seeing that there's a lot more that's involved in this whole thing than meets the eye. And they're trying to be tight lip about it all and trying to make sure that the information is spread out so nobody gets in trouble here, which should make you think there's something else going on. So as always, folks, before we jump into the clip, hit that like and subscribe button. Leave us a comment down below. Your help and support would be greatly appreciated. Let's see Stephen here with this question. Corinne. Corinne. Yes. Thank you, Corinne. Just want to ask you, sir. Just want to ask you about something you said last week. La last week you were pretty insistent that you believe that the president's attorneys did the right thing. Do you still believe that? Yes, they did the right thing when it comes to making sure that when the documents were found, uh, they um, handed it over to the archivist and it was handed over to Department of Justice. But again, Steve, I'm going to be very prudent here. I am going to be very consistent. It is an ongoing legal process. I'm not going to say more. Uh, but I, the reason I ask is, is that what we now know, the, the president's counsel statement, the president's personal lawyer statement, shed a bit more light on this, but they raised more questions. Uh, namely, the first call that the president's personal attorneys made on November 2nd was not to the FBI that they had found what we now know were top secret documents out in the open. The first call was to officials here at this White House in the West Wing. How is that the right thing? Isn't it the right thing when you see some, if you're a lawyer and you're, you don't have a security clearance and you see a classified document, shouldn't you call the Justice Department's National Security Office right away? Again, I'm going to refer you to the White House Counsel's Office. That is something for them to answer. That is a very specific question uh, that they should answer that they will engage you with engage with on you on this just like my colleague did for almost an hour and had this was, conversation with all it was about a half hour but let me let me widen out why is it the matter of this white house council to deal with documents from two administrations ago these are we're not talking about presidential records from this white house why is this white house council involved in this matter at all again this is something for the white house council uh to address i am not going to address that from here I will refer you to them, and I will refer you to the special counsel and anything that's spe that is specific to this particular issue. I think I think he really does a great job here, you guys, on bringing out the fact that there's a lot more going on here that meets the eye, and there is a reason, you guys. She keeps referencing the White House counsel, basically those that are lawyers of the Biden, the Biden family, the White House. There, there's something going on here, and I, somebody's lying. Somebody's doing some shady business. It was just ousted that you had Hunter Biden paying his father, Joe Biden, $50,000 a month for rent. Basically, a lot of people think that's funneling money. And I believe that was uncovered when these documents were uncovered as well. So there's a lot of stuff coming out here. They're getting the lawyers involved and the press are pouncing as you hear everybody say, oh, they're pouncing this or pouncing on that. But they really are, you guys. And we again, I keep saying this. We got to give them credit. We're so used to what we saw under the Trump administration. I'm not saying that they're perfect. I'm not perfect. Nobody's perfect. But I'm trying to get the American people back on the side of the press in the sense of they're trying, you guys. I'm not saying that they're always going to be on our side with their questions. I'm not saying they aren't being left-leaning and all these things. But boy, man, at least from what I've seen covering this for two years now, they have been trying. There's times when they frustrate me. There's times when I want certain questions to be asked, but I'm not in the room. And obviously they don't have the same thinking as a conservative Republican all the time. But hell, man, you got to give credit where credit's due sometimes. Even for Kareen, you got to give credit where credit's due. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.